This is Chris from Crustazzi and Snazzy Crustazzi, and I'm here today telling you all about a recent trip I made. So, as you know, Halloween is coming up, it's tomorrow, and since I'm going to be stuck in class, I figured I might as well do something special beforehand. So what I did was I went to Disneyland! That's right, I went to Disneyland for Halloween. So we got there around 10 in the morning, and at that time I really had to pee. And you know, when you have to pee so bad, it starts to hurt. Yeah, I had that for about two hours. But I'm really glad that we didn't stop anywhere because the entire day would have been different. My day was perfect as it was. So the first ride we went on was the Matterhorn and I actually don't have any pictures of that because the entire time we were waiting in line, I had a massive breakout. I don't know why, but I have this weird phobia that I'm gonna fall out of things. And also phobia of heights. So the entire time I was thinking to myself, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, this entire like seatbelt is just going to come off and I am going to fall out of this thing and I'm going to die right now. Obviously that did not happen because I'm here talking to you guys, very, very glad by the way. But the entire time I was freaking out, I had no idea what was going on. So I was too scared to take any pictures. I was literally standing there walking around. I was fidgeting with my bracelets. I was I'm doing whatever. Um, but I'm so glad I went on it because it's actually fun now. I don't know if you know, but they changed their bobsleds. So before, I don't really remember, but I think they had seats with a belt, something that you can hold on the side but there was no backing, I don't think, to the seat because I vividly remember the two other times that I dared to go on the Matterhorn. I held on to the person in front of me for dear life. I like clinged onto their body, basically. And I'm, a, I'm so surprised that they are alive today because I was holding on that tightly. I was so scared for my life. And I like closed my eyes really tight and I was like, this is not happening, this is not happening, dear lord, please save me. And thank you, Disneyland, for changing this ride. It totally saved my life, I swear. Um, we also went on Pirates. That's one of my favorites. We went on Star Tour. It was the first time I actually went on this ride, but it was really fun. I'm not sure which, which scene we got because I'm not really familiar with Star Wars at all. I'm so sorry. But it was amazing. It was fun. I plan to go on that one again. And then we went on Astro Blaster. I'm terrible at this ride because I always lose very, very badly. So if you ever want a quick ego boost, play Astro Blasters with me because I swear no matter how much you think you suck, I suck worse. So if you ever want to go on this ride with me, you are guaranteed a win. If you get 200 points, I will get 50. So don't even worry. We were going to go on Indiana Jones, but sadly it was closed today. I mean, so, so sad, sorry. I was crushed, just completely crushed. And then last but not least at Disneyland, we went on Haunted Mansion. That is one of my absolute favorites. I will always go on this ride. I will always love this ride. I am obsessed with Tim Burton. I am obsessed with Nightmare Before Christmas. It's one of my favorites. I loved it. I have so much respect for the man. Love the ride. I love the cake. It's always different every year. If you didn't know, go on this ride every single year and see how the cake changes. It's always different. I love them so much. And so after that, we hopped over to California Adventure and we grabbed some fast passes to go on some rides after that. And unfortunately for me, my friends saw this ride that had only a five minute wait. So what do they do? They decide to go on it. And the first thing I noticed was everybody walking off this ride completely drenched in water. Um, if you know me, that is not my thing. It was cold outside. I did not want to walk around with wet clothes on. Not my thing. But my friends convinced me to go on it anyways. They said, oh honey, it will be okay. Don't worry about it. You can, um, you can sit on this side, okay? It'll, it'll be okay, don't worry about it. As not only was I completely soaked, I was the most soaked out of everybody. My hair got soaked, my back got soaked, my jeans were all wet, it was 
very uncomfortable walking around in the cold like this, but it was cool, it was fun, I loved it in retrospect. Okay, here's a little tip. So I think this is how it works. When you get on this ride called Grizzly River Run, it's a little tire looking thing, right? So when you first get on this ride, do not sit with your back facing you where you can't see anything. Because if you sit there, I swear, you will get drenched because the water just comes up and splashes you first. You're the first person to get wet. I swear you will be completely drenched if you sit in that seat. So basically, you want to sit in the seat completely opposite of that. So you see everything. It might be a little bit scarier, but at least you'll probably, most likely, don't take my word on it, sorry, but you'll probably end up dry because my friend was sitting completely opposite of me. He was doing absolutely nothing to stay dry. And he walked off this ride completely dry. Not one drop of water on him. I was pissed. <laughs> but I am really glad I went on this ride. Actually, I will go back sometime when it's warm and go on this ride because it is fun. Everybody go on this ride if you don't mind getting a little bit wet. I would not recommend it in the winter. I don't even know if it's open in the winter, but I won't recommend it in the winter because you get wet, you walk around, it's cold. My jeans took three hours to dry. So just a little heads up. So not long after this, we went on Mickey's Fun Wheel, or should I say Mickey's Wheel of Terror. According to my friends who actually went on the swinging carriages on this Ferris wheel, Heads up, this thing is 150 feet tall and I had never been on a Ferris wheel before. I was not going on those swinging, uh, no, 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 no. And all of my friends were brave as heck, but I was a chicken. So I went on the non-swinging carriage and I had a good time. Actually, I am terrified of heights, but I put that one aside for the amazing view of Disneyland and California Adventure at night. It is wonderful. The view is spectacular. I totally recommend if you're going with somebody, someone you love or, you know, whatever, go on Mickey's Fun Wheel at night and do not go on the swinging carriages unless you are brave. That thing does not have any seatbelts. You, you are not strapped in. So if you, I mean, if you want to be risky and not enjoy the nice romantic view, go ahead. But if you're like me, if you're a chicken and you just want to enjoy the view, go on the non-swinging carriages because I guarantee you will have a good time. So after we went on this, we found Tim Burton's Frank and Me set. Oh my gosh, I almost died. I loved it so much. I took so many pictures. It was really late at night, so we were all kind of exhausted and tired. I really wish we could have gone to see this one earlier in the day, but we didn't. It's okay. It's totally okay because I got to see it. That totally made my day. Out of everything that we did, this topped my day off. We got to see some of the puppets and the cases and stuff. We got to see them and take pictures of them. I have so much respect for Tim Burton. Thank you, Tim Burton, for doing this. This movie was incredible. I loved it. I love all of your movies. They're amazing. I have so much respect for your style. Okay, so after that, we actually hopped over to Disneyland to see the fireworks show. And I gotta tell you, if you've never seen Disneyland's fireworks show, you must buy yourself a pass. I don't care what kind of pass it is. Buy yourself a pass to Disneyland to go see their fireworks. We saw the set called Remember Dreams Come True, and I've never seen any other set, but this one, thumbs up. I actually took some videos of the fireworks, and I posted a link to that, so if you want to check it out, you can click anywhere in this little area right here. I'll have a link up here, and you can go check that out. It was incredible. After the fireworks show, we made our way over back to California Adventure to see World of Color. And I swear to you, if you think the fireworks show in Fantasmic at Disneyland is amazing, World of Color is even better. Go see this in the splash zone. It's the very front section where if you stand there, you are guaranteed to get soaked. Me, I stood in the very front, well, it's the second row. There was a couple people in front of me, and then I stood behind them, which, oh my gosh, I am five feet tall. These people were like six foot seven. I swear I wanted to punch them in the face because I could barely see anything at all, but what I did see, incredible, I loved it. This is the very first time I saw World of Color, and I guarantee you I will be going back to see it again.
that's how much I love this. I got to say my absolute favorite part of World of Color was pirates. I am this type of person where you put fire and water and graphics all together. I adored it so much. I also love the cute little clips that they put of Nemo and the Lion King and all the princesses and their cute little romantic scenes. It was so cute. It was awesome. It had a lot of action and had a lot of romance. It was the, it's the thing for everybody. If you like anything at all in the world, you will go see this show and you will find at least one thing you liked about it. I guarantee you this. So Disneyland, Fantasmic, Fireworks, and World of Color are all a go-see. If you don't do anything else at Disneyland, you will go see these shows because they are incredible, they are fantastic. They will wow you, I promise. So basically once this all ended, it was midnight and we were all completely exhausted since we'd been there for at least 13 hours. I had a really sore blister on the back of my heel from my shoe because we were walking around all day. But it was all worth it because I had the most spectacular time at Disneyland. This is the first time I can say that I've completely enjoyed my stay at Disneyland. Thank you Disneyland for being a magical place. I loved it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I don't get to travel very often, but when I do, I will post about it and I will tell you how much of a good time or maybe not so good of a time that I had. So thank you for tuning in to this travel vlog. Click the like button if you liked anything in this video and please hit subscribe if you want to see my face again. Bye! Be sure.